City of Grand Rapids has repaired the water main break that happened Thursday morning. Residents are still dealing with the aftermath, which may include a fight with insurance. Call it Fresh Water Friday on Grand Rapids Southeast Side. Residents here under the Boil Water Advisory, thanks to Thursday's water deluge. They're getting three cases of water at this time. There will be more available to them if they need it. Meyer donated almost 1,000 cases to the city. Daniel Vermeulen was a recipient. I'm, I've done a lot of camping and hiking and stuff, so it's just kind of like I'm an urban camper right now. But um, yeah, you just got to remember to keep things clean, make sure that you boil everything. For others in the neighborhood, having no drinking water is the least of their problems. And the water level was risen all the way up to the ceiling. Welcome to Stephanie Hall's basement. Yes, the water's gone. Damage, not gone. She made a claim with her insurance. And we got confirmation this morning that it wasn't covered. Because she doesn't have flood insurance. She's frustrated because the damage was caused by a failure of the city's infrastructure and thinks it should be the city's liability. And we have to do all this work and try to try to work through the city on the whole thing and I can't even imagine what that's going to be like. I am not looking forward to this at all. <laughs> the city is doing its best to help affected residents, but they don't know to what extent. We had some of our staff go door to door at the direction of risk management. I think there was about a dozen properties that have significant, you know, flooding damage and stuff like that. We've given them all the paperwork that they're going to need from the city and the city will work with them and their insurance companies. As for Stephanie, her meeting with the city can happen soon enough. And so we're just, we're kind of in a limbo. In Grand Rapids, Darren Bauer, Fox 17 News.